Welcome to the second activity with which we are going to practice the passive voice. All right? I have a very special assignment for you, as I announced before. Let's read the instructions together. It says, research about some famous historical sites. Hmm, you're going to just Google on the internet. Just Google about some historical sites in Latin America and answer the following questions using the passive voice. So you're going to answer the following questions. Let me show you what the questions are. And uh, you, you will see that there are some names that, of mm, historical sites, monuments, etc. that probably you have heard about or probably you haven't. So whatever the case, you are going to find the information that answers these particular questions. So look at the questions and... Um, research about them so that you can answer them. When you find the answers, you're going to write the answers using the passive voice. One key is that the sentence that, that you find as the question is also written in the passive voice. So that is helping you uh, put the correct uh, verb tenses um, in the sentence for the passive voice. So um, pause the video, look at the questions, go to research, Find the answers, write the answers, and then I'll see you in a moment. Okay? Pause the video, please. Okay, I hope that you did pause the video, that you went and researched the answers of these questions, or to these, que to these questions, and here we can compare my answers with yours. All right? So actually, this, these are answers that a girl wrote. So let's look at the first one. So the question was, how many tourists visit Machu Picchu every year? Machu Picchu is visited by over half a million tourists every year. Hmm, that is interesting. Listen to the pronunciation, please. Machu Picchu is visited by over half a million tourists every year. That's great. So as you can see, the girl used the passive voice, is visited by, right? The next question is, when were the largest structures of Teotihuacan completed? Okay, when were they completed? The largest structures of Teotihuacan were completed in the year 300 AD. AD is Anno Domini, which means after Christ. So, Anno Domini is uh, the reference point um, that is calculated based on the birth of Jesus Christ for our reference. All right, listen to her pronunciation, please. The largest structures of Teotihuacan were completed in the year 300 AD. Great. Next, the question was, when was the current Santuario de las Lajas finished? All right, I hope you researched it. And the answer was, the current Santuario de las Lajas was finished in 1949. Wow, that, was, that is very recent. Actually, that is a beautiful sight. All right, listen to her pronunciation, please. The current Santuario de las Lajas was finished in 1949. Excellent, excellent. The next question was, which material was used to build the Santa Maria de Loreto church? Answer. Santa Maria de Loreto Church was built with local timber. Timber is wood, wood that we use for construction, not regular wood fire or firewood, but built that is used for structures. All right. And the last question was, oh, listen to her pronunciation. I'm sorry. Santa Maria de Loreto Church was built with local timber. Hi, right. thank you. And finally, the last question is, when was the ancient city Tikal in Guatemala rediscovered? When was it rediscovered? Answer, the ancient city Tikal in Guatemala was rediscovered in the 19th century. If you have a very specific date that is more accurate, even better, but that is enough. Listen to her pronunciation, please. The ancient city Tikal in Guatemala was rediscovered in the 19th century. Great. That's great. So for our next activity, we are going to 
uh, practice with the passive voice but using things that we see around the house. There's a special assignment for you, so I will wait for you on the next video.